Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create new tabs and layouts in the statistics dashboard. For this video, we are going to be creating an add-on using Python API. Before we do that, I'm quickly going to show you the basics of programming the statistics dashboard using a component script. I'll now go to the modeling tab. If you don't have access to modeling tab, it's okay, just follow along. I'll create a new component, add a box or block feature, this just makes it easier to select a component in case I need to modify the script. Now go to the Behaviors menu, add a Python script, and in the editor we do not need these lines of code. I will delete them. But we do need the application object. I'll write app equals get application. The application object allows you to access the statistics dashboard. I'll write dash equals app dot dashboard. Let's now print out our dashboard variable to see its type and compile the code. In the output panel we can see the dashboard is of type VC statistics dashboard. This now allows you to access the tabs in the dashboard. In your code, let's create a tab variable and set it to equal the selected or active tab in the dashboard. Let's now print out the tab to see its type, compile the code, and a tab in the dashboard is of type VC statistics tab. This now allows you to access the layouts of that tab. So let's go back to our code. I'll create a variable called layouts and set it to equal tab dot layouts. From here we can print this list out, compile our code, and we can see in the output panel that the layouts of a tab is a list of lists. So one list is a layout that has a name and each tile, grid, or placeholder, whatever you want to call it, is its own list of arguments. So if we now want to create a new layout, it's very simple. Let's create a new variable called new layout. It has to be a list. The first argument is the name of the layout. I'll call it example and every placeholder or tile has to be its own list. So let's add two placeholders for charts. I'll call the first one A1 and the second one A2. These names don't matter, you can call them what you want. And then the next argument is the row and the column where the placeholder is located. So I'll make A1 be in 0, 0. I then have to define how many columns it spans in the layout. So let's have it span 10 columns and five rows. Your placeholders cannot overlap, so A2 can start in column 0, but it cannot start in row 0, because this placeholder, A1, it spans five rows, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the index of 5 is open. Let's also have A2 span 10 columns and five rows. Let's now add this layout to our list of layouts, so layouts.append new layout, and now we just assign our layouts list back to our tab. So tab.layouts equals layouts. Let's compile our code, minimize our script, and now let's access the statistics dashboard. You can click the home tab and go to the statistics group and click this icon here, or you can right click the icon and add it to your quick access toolbar, and that's what I did here. So you can see the icon, when I navigate to the modeling tab, I can still access the dashboard from there. And here we go. And now let's go to the layout, drop down menu, scroll down, and yes, there is our custom layout that we added to the active tab in the dashboard. Let's now add a new tab to the dashboard. So go back to your script and let's modify our code a bit. So I'll just comment out these lines real quick. I'll create a new variable called new tab. And you can create a new tab in the dashboard using the dashboard object with the method called create tab. The first argument is the name of the tab, so I'll call it example. And you have an optional argument to make this tab the selected or active tab in the dashboard. I do want this, so I'll pass a true value. And now let's go ahead and make this tab just have one layout. So it's very easy. Let's copy this line of code here we use to create a new layout. And now for our new tab, 
let's define its layouts property as a list containing just the new layout we made, like so. So remember this layouts property of a tab, it's a list of lists. So we're passing a list that contains one layout and that layout is a list. We compile the code. We can see in the output panel we did get some updates. Minimize the script and yep, there's our new tab. It is selected and it has one layout for charts. So if you click the layout drop-down menu, there's that one option. Now if you don't want this and you want to inherit all the other predefined layouts, you can do that. Just go back to your code. And when you are creating the new tab, you don't want to clear the layouts option here. You want to do what we did here. We got first got the list of layouts. We made a new one. We added it to our list and then we assigned it back. But in this case, we just created one layout for our new tab. Let's now create our add-on because if we were to exit out of the dashboard and delete this component or clear the 3D world, if I now go back to the dashboard, you can see that new tab is gone as well as my custom layout. So to make this permanent, we have to create the add-on. Let's exit out of this. And now you need to use a text editor. I'm going to use Notepad. And if you are using Notepad, just make sure you set the language to be Python. Then go to Settings, Preferences. And for language, you want to find Python. I think it's down here somewhere. There it is. And you want to select this option called Replace by Space. Close this out. And we're first going to create the Python command file. So from VC command, import all. I'll then define the command as get command. And now let's define a function for the first state of our command when the command is executed. So I'll say define first state. And then from here, we want to get the application object and all we're doing is repeating what we did earlier with the component script. So I'll say dash equals app dot dashboard. And then let's create a new tab. So I'll say new tab equals dash dot create tab. I'll call it example. And I do want it to be the selected tab. Let's now add a new layout. So I'll say new layout equals a list. I'll give the layout a name. And we want it to have two placeholders for charts, both the equal in the same size. So one placeholder will be called A1. The other one will be called A2. A1, that placeholder will start in column 0 and row 0. It will span 10 columns and 5 rows. A2 can start in column 0, but it has to also start in row 5 because A1, that placeholder spans 5 rows and they cannot overlap. Let's now make A2 span 10 columns and 5 rows. Let's now assign our new layout to our tab. So new tab dot layouts equals a list that just contains that new layout. And then now that we have our function defined for our command's first state, we need to assign it to it. So I'll say command dot add state equals first state. You now want to save this file in your My Commands folder in your Visual Components documents. So I'm at the My Commands folder here, and I will name the Python file as test tab layout dashboard. And make sure this is a Python file. Let's now create the initialization file for our command. So I'll add a new tab here. And then from VC application import, I first should define the language I'm using, sorry. I'm now going to use an event in VC application called on app initialized. So this allows you to wait until the application is ready as well as its 3D window. So now let's load our command. So let's first get the commands URI. So I'll use the get application path method. And then I will add to that the command's name or file name. So test tab layout dashboard dot py. And that is the name of the file here. 
from there, let's load the command. So cmd dot load command. We'll give it an ID of say test dashboard. You can use whatever name you want to, it's just the command ID. And then we need to pass our URI for our command file. And then let's go ahead and execute our command. So when the application starts up, we should see after we access the dashboard, our new tab and our new layout in that tab. You want to save this file in the same place as your command file, but it has to be a file name of two underscores INIT followed by two underscores, and make sure it's a Python file. And to test, we have to restart the application, so I'll do that now. Okay, the application has restarted. Let's access our statistics dashboard. And yep, we can see there's our new tab and our new layout. Great. So if we go to statistics one, it has its own set of layouts, and our new tab has its own layout, which in this case only is one layout, actually. If we exit out of the statistics dashboard and access it again, we can see that our tab is still there as well as our new layout. All right, this completes the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com. And if you do want access to the Python add-on I created in this video, you can find a link for it in the video description. But as always, have a great day.